let's try to understand better the differences between a process and a thread. To recap from the previous lessons, a single threaded process is represented by its address space. The address space will contain all of the virtual to physical address mappings for the process, for its code, its data, its heap section files, for everything. The process is also represented by its execution context that contains information about the values of the registers, the stack pointer, program counter, etc. The operating system represents all this information in a process control block. Threads, we said, represent multiple independent execution contexts. They're part of the same virtual address space, which means that they will share all of the virtual to physical address mappings. They will share all the code, data, files. However, they will potentially execute different instructions, access different portions of that address space, operate on different portions of the input, and differ in other ways. This means that each thread will need to have a different program counter, stack pointer, stack, thread-specific registers. So we will have, for each and every thread, we will have to have separate data structures to represent this per-thread information. The operating system representation of such a multi-threaded process will be a more complex process control block structure than what we saw before. This will contain all of the information that's shared among all the threads, so the virtual address mappings, description about the code and data, etc. And it will also have separate information about every single one of the execution contexts that are part of that process.